judging. Are you streaming on Facebook or where are you streaming? Uh, have you got your volume at the same place it was? Or yeah, yeah, I haven't changed anything. Okay, perfect. Hey, you guys. Put it way up. Now, for those of you that haven't met her and her husband, Jonah, who is back here in the back with the phone. Hey, Keith Urban. With the modern cell phone stuff going on. Uh, <laughs> no. Uh, Sophia came and uh, did a radio show with us about, what, six, eight months ago? Yeah, I think sometime in March. March. Yeah. And yeah. we loved her, and you will too, uh, from Berlin well, via we're... Sweden, or Sweden via Berlin. Yes. Sophia Talbot. Woo! Thank you so much. I'm gonna start with sort of a lengthy story before I start playing, because I almost didn't make it here today. <laughs> All right. <laughs> On the last tour, when I also was here doing the little radio show, I played a show in Greenville, Texas. You know, it's not that far away. Yeah. And we, played, we were gonna play the Texan theater, and we have this little RV, um, a Winnebago Micro Warrior from 1989. <laughs> That's called Little Chief. <laughs> and so we were rolling into Greenville and a blocks a couple of blocks away from, from the Texan theater, the RV just died. It just died. And we couldn't start it again. And it was just like, what's going on? And so they came in uh, from from the theater and they picked us up and we played the show and the next day we tried to fix it and it wouldn't be fixed and it was just like, what is wrong with it? And so finally we got it fixed. We had so much help from so many people. It was just like, I was so amazed. I was like, this is the friendliest town in the USA, right? <laughs> so today we were going from Texarkana and we were driving here. And so we were dri driving through Greenville and we were gonna stop for lunch. And I posted a picture on, fa on Facebook and I said, you know, okay, back to the scene of the crime or like the scene of the breakdown. <laughs> and um, we're in Greenville, like having lunch and we're pulling out after lunch and the RV dies. <laughs> <laughs> and it just died, yeah. And um, sure enough, like people pull over, like, do you need help? You know, like super friendly, helped us like roll the RV into a parking lot and uh, this guy shows up and like, oh, I'm gonna go and get this part for you. And you know, we're like, what is going on with RV and Greenville? Like, what's what's wrong mm -hmm. with this place? And um, so I'm on the phone with Randy. I was like, I was gonna be here at like 4.30. I'm not gonna make it till 4.30. Uh, I'm gonna find a way to make it to the show. And he's like, ah, oh, I got some friends nearby, you know, <laughs> Barbara and Gina are in the neighborhood. They're gonna pick you up. And so, so they came over and they picked me up. Jonas was still at the RV trying to get it fixed. And the part arrives and it works. And now little chief is parked outside. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so we were happy to come back here, but now we're even more happy to be here. Because like, this has been a horrible day, but this is like the best ending of the day anyone could ask for. Let's so we're so happy to be here. <laughs> I like right. next time I will go in a big loop around it. All my dad's families from Greenville, I would have told you to stay away from <laughs> <laughs> There is something weird electrical about that place. It makes my RV die all the time. I'll give you a different you too. <laughs> you know, the, the black bird you too? They have a stealth field there in Great Greenville. It's something about, I'm telling you, something you about that place. <laughs> wow. Like yeah, I mean, that's the And Helen said it's like something out of the X-Files. And do you know that I actually opened a show for David Duchovny, who is Agent Mulder, <laughs> <laughs> just a few months ago. <laughs> oh, but he's, all, he's also doing Aquarius. Remember that? 
Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, I should call him and, and look into that, see if he can figure it out. Either like as Agent Mulder or Agent whatever he is in. <laughs> So uh, this song is um, hopefully not a song about breaking down, and it's <laughs> <laughs> it's not really a song about cars, but it's called Cars. <laughs> Despite what kind of engine, a car is still a car. One thing that burns, though trying to be a piano, I'm still a guitar. And so are you, so are you, my friend, traveling life. Through the countries, through the states of mind Look ahead, leave the past behind <laughs> One thing for sure to know me, the more I become a bore. And so are you, so are you, my friend, traveling light through the countries, through the states of mind. Look ahead, leave the past. you're trying, you are what you are, and so am I, so am I, my friend, traveling light, through the countries, through the states of mind, look ahead, leave the past behind. Before I continue, I want to say a huge thank you to Sharita for this wonderful first set of music. Yeah. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> Hope to see you in Germany soon. So yeah, I'm from Sweden, but I do I live in Germany now, hence the little confusion on um, where I'm from or which language I speak, but um, I do speak Swedish as my mother tongue, and then I also do a little bit of German, but... Um, 
not as well. <laughs> so this is a song that I wrote to a friend of mine a long time ago, and at the time I thought that she was stating, I'm like, I can't see you there because this thing is in the way. Well, at the time, I thought that she was dating the wrong guy. And uh, I tried to tell her, you know, you should break up with that guy. He's no good for you. And uh, she didn't want to listen to me. And she got a little angry with me as well. So I felt bad and I wrote her this song instead. And now she actually has a kid with another guy and they're so happy together. Mm -hmm. And I take all of the credit for that. <laughs> <laughs> so this song is called If I Had a Man. Sister, if I had a man Who wouldn't mind to let me down Who'd always treat me like a clown What would you say, yo oh sister If I loved this man Who'd never come to treat me right Who'd always put me through this fright Of losing him what would you do? What would you say? Wouldn't you tell me to get rid of him straight away? Would you sit back and watch and break my heart? Well, that's not what I do. Oh, sister. I took him back Time after time and on and on No matter how he did me wrong What would you say? What would you do? What would you say? Wouldn't you tell me To get rid of him straight away? Would you sit back and watch him break my heart? Well, that's not what I do it's not what I say Honey, you shouldn't Let him play with your heart this way Then why won't you listen When I tell you this Oh, just hear me out Honey, be strong No one should hurt you Like he does and you know it's wrong And it breaks my heart To watch him break your heart You know what to do mm -hmm. And sometimes it doesn't work out the way we planned Sometimes we fail Ooh, oh. Sometimes it doesn't work out at all Like we thought it would Sometimes we lose it all Sometimes we fall Sometimes we fall So since I uh, live in Germany, that there's a reason for me living in Germany, and that is because I tour a lot in Germany. And um, last year I did a show in Germany, and in the break this guy came up to me and he said, do you have any up-tempo songs? Because I like to dance. And I was like, sure, you know. Um, I'll let you know when I play the up-tempo song. <laughs> and so I was about to play this song and, um, and this guy came up on stage and danced next to me throughout the whole song. Oh. <laughs> so if you guys want to dance, this is probably your best bet. This is the up-tempo song. <laughs> There's not a lot of room up here, but I can fit a few of you in. <laughs> This song is actually a cover song, and it's a, it's a song by a wonderful Native American singer-songwriter. You might have heard her name, Buffy St. Marie. Yeah. Yes. 
She wrote this song in 1976, I think, and it's called Star Walker. And I think it's just such an amazing song. And I, I loved it so much the first time I heard it. So I decided to put it on my new album. And that's the first time I ever put a cover song on one of my albums. So this is Star Walker. And if you want to dance, <laughs> you can dance with me. All right? <laughs> on this really really long tour a couple of years ago and I here in the States and I was uh, touring around in an old RV uh, for a year and a half through 37 states yeah and um, so on that tour we had a much bigger RV it was like 29 foot long and it was uh, had a big bedroom in the back and it was pretty you know comfortable now we only have little chief <laughs> which tends to break down in Greenville all the time <laughs> but uh, we love little chief though it's amazing he's a he's a great little RV um, so anyway um, a lot of the songs on my new album were inspired by that long tour because I got to see so much and I got to meet so many wonderful people and um, so this is a song that I wrote while I was on the road and uh, I woke up one morning in Auburn, Alabama and it was just raining so hard and when you have an RV you know they have a very thin roof mm -hmm. so it's like someone was tap dancing up on the roof and uh, it woke me up because it put this sort of rhythm in me 
and um, I grabbed the guitar and I went to the the front of the RV, you know, to the driver's seat, and and I wrote this song, and uh, it's on my new album, and it's called "A Matter of the Hearts." Is it because I can't have you? Because I let you go I was the wiser of us two But I was a fool for you All the things I can't tell you That you already know What do they matter? songs that are inspired by you know the wonderful nature of this continent and um, I have a friend who's also a singer-songwriter she should really come here though Michelle Lewis she's from Boston and she um, she now lives in Los Angeles and she was touring her way to Los Angeles when I wrote the song that I'm about to play and um, she posted a picture on Facebook of Buffalo and she wrote Give me a home where the buffalo roam. Mm -hmm. I saw that, I was like, wow, that is so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> and I was writing this song and I was like, it fits so well to my song. I have to steal it. Mm -hmm. And then after a while I was like, hmm, 
I wonder if she came up with that. <laughs> <laughs> Believe it or not, Home on the Range is not a well-known song in Europe. <laughs> in fact, I will tell you right now, no one in Europe has ever heard that song or heard about it even. <laughs> so I found out, yeah, it was Home on the Range. And, you know, it's like, it doesn't matter. I'm going to steal it anyway. Because, <laughs> you know, amateurs, they borrow, but professionals, they steal. <laughs> so this song is called Give Me a Home. And um, for this tour, I actually made some really cool t-shirts that um, has the buffalo and it says Give Me a Home. So if you want to get a t-shirt that is sort of both like the American tradition and the Swedish influence, <laughs> you can talk to me later. This song is called If I Give Me a Home. Oh, not a word, not a sigh that can't be heard. But once the dust has kissed your feet, you are merry to that wayward beat. Oh, Sleep blue, this is where I'll stay with you. With the sky so big, it's so overwhelming. Can you be my writer for a happy ending? Oh, give me a home where the buffalo oh, walls roll on. the buffalo room and I'll show you a dirty house <laughs> <laughs> uh, I guess that would be very true <laughs> oh. dirty wasn't the word that he told me <laughs> Randy's trying to get you in trouble <laughs> I'm not touring around alone in the Little Chief and uh, in the big old RV that we had um, for the long tour. I am touring with my husband who is like sort of out of a job tonight. Usually he's doing my sound, but now we're here in the music room 
where the sound is already perfect, you know? <laughs> so uh, he's sort of out of a job, but he's enjoying himself. And, um, well, I fixed the RV. Yes. I was going <laughs> to come to that. Yeah, an RV mechanic. <laughs> right. So um, every time this happens, like something is a little bit weird or something needs to be fixed, he can fix everything. So um, since the, the first RV that we had, he came up with a nickname for himself, and that was White Trash MacGyver. <laughs> <laughs> because he can fix anything with like a paper clip and a piece of gum, you know? Some WD-40. What I want to know is can he sing? I got my own t-shirts. <laughs> <laughs> well, depends on what you mean by singing. <laughs> he loves to sing the karaoke and if, if there is like a karaoke bar around here, you will probably find in there later, singing meatloaf songs. <laughs> Bad out of hell. Not Keith Urban? No. But, you know, I, w I won't let him near the mic. So this is actually a duet, but Jonas is not going to sing tonight. Aww. I'm sorry. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> but this, this is a song about staying together and uh, I'm, I'm always so impressed when I see him working on that RV, like even when he doesn't come up with what's wrong with it or whatever, you know, I'm like, he's doing it. He's like checking the spark plugs. He's like, I could never do that. I'm like really, really impressed all the time. So, and um, yeah, <laughs> oh. okay, okay. <laughs> So, um, teamwork. yeah, teamwork, Absolutely. exactly. So on, on the big long tour that we did, uh, people would sometimes ask us, you know, living in such a small space as an RV for a year and a half, <laughs> how do you manage to not kill each other? <laughs> and, you know, just looking at White Trash MacGyver doing his thing, <laughs> you know, that was a pretty easy task not to kill him. And, um, <laughs> But this is a song about staying together. And if you do want to hear me sing this with an amazing singer from Sweden, not Keith Urban. <laughs> Unfortunately, I mean, I would go for that too. But yeah. uh, <laughs> <laughs> next time, you know, I come here, you invite Keith also. Sure, no, yeah. I'll call that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so if you want to hear me sing that um, with a wonderful singer from Sweden, you have to pick up one of my albums. But this song is called Seven Miles Wide. It's about staying together. The rift in our bed is seven miles wide. Though I see you as though you were here right beside. I'm trying to reach out. But it's just in my mind My body's too tense And too stiff to unwind The rift in our bed is seven miles deep The edges are sharp And the walls are so steep And if I could throw myself out Like a dove With the peace that I offer Ever substitute love so hold on, hold on for the night, for the day. Hold on, hold on, hold on for the night, will not stay. Punishing you is harder on me. And it's double the torture that you don't even see At the rift in our bed is seven miles wide And I'm on the edge and I've been for a while So hold on, hold on For the night, for the day Nothing to cry for, but I'm crying inside As the rift moves you farther 
away from my sight I want to reach out but I'm just so darn proud Will you build me a bridge and I will come around So how oh, 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 will I for the night, for the day When it's dawning And I will share All that you feel If you hold me Till the morning, baby We can carry each other one more day So hold didn't bother and now you're asleep and I'm still awake with a rift in my heart but if I could speak now where would I start maybe I'd say there's a rift in our bed or maybe that rift is just in my head I know if you tell me I'd know to say and you'd hold me and make all the pain go away so hold on, hold on for the night for the day hold on, hold on for the night will not stay hold on, hold on for the night and for the day, yeah, yeah. Hold on, hold on. For the night will not stay. Thank you. So, are you guys ready to hear an old Swedish folk song? Yeah. yeah? yeah. All right. This part of the room is, what about you guys? <laughs> okay, so this is also a song about staying together. This song, however, is from the 1600s. So it's a really, really old song. And it's about um, finding your true love. And then when you grow old and gray, and you look at your true love, you know, your loved one, and uh, you will still see the rose of your life. So this song is called My Rose, My Lily. In Swedish, min rose, min lilja. Min rose, min lilja. Jag skulle vilja leva alla livets dagar med dig. Min rose, min lilja. Jag skulle Leave alla livet star med dig Då gror jag livet Då har jag givit Alla mina dagar till dig min vän Då gror jag livet Då har jag givit Alla mina dagar till dig, min vän. Må Gud alls råda och ge oss båda kärlek, hopp och tro till livets slut. Min ros, min lilja, 
Jag skulle vilja leva alla livets dag med dig. Thank you. Are you guys falling asleep? I was just singing that song this morning. Yeah? <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> you guys are not falling asleep, are you? No. Okay, I got, well, if you do, I have something that might wake you up. Another up-tempo song. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but this time, you are going to sing. All right. All of you, I hope. I mean, this is a song that I wrote um, for all the working women and especially all the working mothers and um, it's called Cold Cold Feet it's about making ends meet and um, well the chorus line is Cold Cold Feet and that's what I'm hoping that you guys will sing with me it goes like this Cold Cold Feet those cold, cold feet, those cold, cold feet. Oh, you almost had there. Let's try it together, all of us, together, yeah? Okay, but this time be really loud, okay? All right? The cold, cold feet, those cold, cold feet, those cold, cold feet. That's good, all right. I might bring you guys on tour with me. My backup singers. Yeah, I, it only sleeps three, but if we'll make it work. <laughs> oh, and I almost forgot to say, I have this little email list. If you put your name and your email on that list, I will send you a free download of this song. I will, I will give it to you, okay? And if you want to. You can put your emails on that list, and and then you also get might get an email from me next time I'm in town. Yeah. Yeah. She put her money in her pocket. Thank you. 
harmony and everything. Ah. I am bringing you on tour. <laughs> Just try to stop me. Oh well. So where does that leave us? Cold, cold feet. Probably a bonfire. What are you saying? Sure. So uh, this is also a song from my new album and uh, My heart is bursting at the seams It's too crowded with you there Please leave or I will burst into flames tonight I will light up the town and the sky Just cracked up like a bonfire Burning for you in the night Like a bonfire My heart is bursting at the seams it's too full to keep you there And I have nowhere left to put that love anymore Too close to the flames and the heat Ashes smeared up in my chapped dried lips Burning for you in the night Like a bonfire Like a bonfire mm -hmm. My heart is bursting at the seams It's too crowded with you there Please leave or I will burst into flames tonight I will light up the town and the sky Just cracked open like a bonfire Burning for you in the night Like a bonfire Like a bonfire is wonderful it's really a lot of fun and uh, I tour a lot around Europe especially Germany and I usually say that Germany is like a fairy tale country they have castles everywhere seriously like you know fairy tale castles and so it's beautiful and then I love coming here and the nature here is just so diverse and and you know every time I come here I get to see like you know different parts of the country and I just love it so much but sometimes I wake up in the morning and maybe I had like well, too much wine to drink the night before or uh, the RV breaks down or something. 
<laughs> and I feel like, oh, you know, maybe I should just get a regular nine to five job instead. Don't do it. <laughs> and when I feel like that, you know, I try to remember something that my dad told me. And my dad is also an artist, but he's a painter. And he once told me, you know, doesn't matter how many people show up to your gigs. And it doesn't matter how many CDs you're selling. What matters is that you never give up doing what you love. And that's what makes an artist. That's true. And so when I have one of those bad days and I feel like just giving up, I try to remember what my dad told me. And I wrote this song for him. And it's called Something Good. Is someone who never quits When nothing keeps a coming He fights on with his fists My father says A soldier is someone with a failure I feel my jealousy of everyone better off than me my father says a pilgrim sees the journey as his goal the destiny is not what will make you whole And I guess I never fell in line And I fail more than half the time But I know there's something good in me There's something You know, it's funny. I was um, thinking, like, I was watching Shirley play and uh, her red guitar, and my first guitar was a red guitar as well. And um, I did, I played this little festival in Sweden many, many, many years ago before I was established and everything. And I used to sit down and I didn't do the stomp thing and stuff. And and when I sat down to play, I would always have like elaborate shoes. That was my thing. Like I loved like the high heeled shoes. And so I would have this, like, an arsenal of wonderful shoes. Uh, but I couldn't stand up playing. In them, so. And I had this red guitar, and I actually had a pair of red shoes. And it, I didn't, like, mentally think, you know, oh, I'm going to match my guitar and my shoes. But uh, I got this review from this festival, and that was the only thing they wrote about, how I matched my shoes with my guitar. <laughs> <laughs> And um, it just got me thinking, you know, now I, I only wear the boots because I always stand up and stomp, you know? 
and what's better for stomping than boots? <laughs> so uh, now I only have the boots. I don't know if you could say I match my guitar with my boots this time, but... Uh, <laughs> anyway, um, I was thinking about this whole thing, how you are so vulnerable to uh, all the criticism, especially when you're new and, and you maybe you haven't found yourself quite yet and then you're trying your best to get out there and, and people will just like... Ah, they will just uh, write something about you and you that's all you are a pair of shoes and a red guitar and <laughs> and a little part of that I think uh, stays with you throughout your life the sort of feeling of you know am I good enough like can I do this um, you, you question yourself right and in a way I think it's a good thing because it makes you want to become better and better and you know you want to develop and you want to want to show the world that you are you so this song is also about that little fear inside of you and it's called fairground <laughs> The same road again that I walked a thousand times before. Oh, you keep leading me as though it's new, but I can't do this anymore. And I thought that things would change eventually, that I would find a purpose to this life, that this fairground would be filled with lights for me. And that I could be alright Falling down the same holes again That I thought I covered up last night Oh, it seems I'm digging them when I'm asleep Something about it just ain't right Flying over all the obstacles That are piling up in front of me This fairground may be filled with lights for me But I'm blind and cannot see Are you lighting them for me? Hey, 
Hey, Sophia, let me say something real quick to everybody. I want to let you all know real quick that our next show is John Batdorf and Bill Nash together. And Dallas has Bill Nash been around for years and years. And those of you who don't know John Batdorf, you really do. He was around, he was signed to Warner Electra Atlantic, same time Don Henley and all the Eagles were signed. He was a part of a group called Batdorf and Rodney, a duo originally. They were very strong on the West Coast. And you've heard his music before. He's got a Richie Fury, Buffalo Springfield type voice. He is fantastic. He's been writing for close to 50 years, and he'll be with us at, as the feature of uh, the next show. And Bill Nash, who's have been writing every bit as long, will be there right there opening for him. Bill asked to open for John. So that's really an honor to have both up here in the same night. So just to let you guys know. <laughs> so this is probably one of my oldest songs, or actually the oldest song um, that I still play. And um, this is a song that sort of is the reason why I'm standing here tonight. I, um, I wrote this song a long time ago. It was just like, <coughs> I play the piano and I play like classic, classical piano. And um, uh, when I uh, was like, you know, 17, 18, I sort of got tired of the piano. I wanted to do something different. So I asked my parents for a guitar for my birthday, and um, I got a guitar, the red one, and uh, <laughs> and I was I didn't know how to play it, so I got a little um, book of chords and um, I started writing songs to learn how to play, and um, so this, well, the first songs were probably like two chords, <laughs> and then I advanced to three chords. Um, but this is like, uh, after a little bit of practice, I wrote this song and I put it on a demo tape. And I sent it to this show, like this radio show in Sweden that played demo tapes. And um, they put it on the show and I was like really surprised. I didn't have any clue that anyone wanted to hear what I was doing. So, But you know, I was like, wow, yeah. And after that, it just like, sailed up to the top list of the Swedish radio and um, people started emailing and I was like really surprised and I didn't know what to do and I didn't have a website or anything and this was a long long time ago you guys this is like 2001 2002 <laughs> <laughs> no I think I have I might have had MySpace actually that might have been like yeah. just when MySpace was new and um, so this is probably the oldest song that I've written that I still know how to play. <laughs> it's called Ghosts. I pinch my arm to see if I'm awake or asleep. No, there's nothing wrong, I'm just living through the hell of a bad week. I'm gonna go out drinking with my friends to forget your sins You might be innocent but my mind is filling in the blanks So why are you wasting time on her? Can waste your time with me instead Why are you wasting time on her? When you could waste your time with your time with me You shouldn't have asked me if you expected me to lie But how can you ask me to accept what makes me die inside Oh, I, are you wasting time on her? Can waste your time with goes today why are you wasting time why are you wasting time on ghosts pinch my arm to 
Do you see if I'm awake or asleep? No, there's nothing wrong. I'm just living through the hell of a bad week. <laughs> so, like I said, I was like, I was sitting there in my room with my guitar and my little book of chords and I it never occurred to me that I could maybe try to play other people's songs I don't know a lot of people learn I think from playing covers and um, that just never occurred to me so um, it took it took me a long long time before I started to uh, decide that I could maybe play one or two covers you know and um, I have a, a favorite American artist, and his name is Glenn Campbell. Yep. <laughs> and I actually saw him a couple of years ago here in Texas um, at a rodeo outside Austin. And I was so lucky because he played this song, and it's one of my favorite. And I, I know that he didn't write this song, but I will always think it's, it's his song, right? And um, did you figure out which song it was yet? I'm a lineman for the county And I drive the main road Searching the sun for another overload I hear you singing in the wire I can hear you in the wine And the Wichita lineman you're still on the line oh, da, da. You know I need a small vacation But it don't look like rain And if it snows I'd stretch down south or never Stand the strain And I need you more than want you And I want you for all time And the Wichita lineman Is still on the line I think we're down to the last song. Is that right? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> who, wrote, who wrote Wichita Lineman? Was it Jimmy Webb? Yes. Yeah, okay. Yes. Lineman. I was trying to remember. So. It is a beautiful song. I think it's amazing. Great. So, are you falling asleep yet? Oh, no. Oh. Oh, it'll be none of that. Good. Are you ready to sing more? Yeah, yeah. sure. Great. So, here is the song that Randy was talking about, I think. It is. I already know. Is it? <laughs> you already know? It yeah? <laughs> Good. So this is a title track from my new album. And this is a song that I wrote when I was at the end of that long, long tour. I had been on the road for almost a year and a half and, uh, and I was just like amazed by all the wonderful things I had experienced and, and the wonderful nature I had seen and the wonderful people I had met along the way. Uh, but I was also a little bit tired, 
After a year and a half in an RV, you're a little bit tired. You're sort of ready to uh, go home and have a shower. (laughs) So so I decided, you know, I want to write a song that captures all of my emotions about this country and and my tour. And, um, well... We did 37 states, and so I tried to fit them all in. So this song is about two hours long. I hope you know. <laughs> cold, cold shower. <laughs> but at the end of the two hours, <laughs> I'm hoping that you will sing on the on the chorus that is at the end, and it's I'm going home. I'm going home. It goes like this. I'm going home. I'm going home. What? What? Sorry. I'm going home. I'm going home. I'm going home. I'm going home. You guys got it already. All right. So, um, huge, huge thank you to Helen and Randy for hosting this wonderful evenings here in the music room for inviting me to play, to all of you guys for coming out. I'm Sofia Talvik. This song is called Big Side Country. I've seen the Blue Ridge Mountains rise tall I heard the San Francisco sea lions call I left my heart in a dirty old bar In Laramie, Wyoming, I slept in my car And there were days when I thought this is it I couldn't go forward yet It won't tell you how I feel From the red fields of Texas with their oil below To the big sky country of Idaho I travel the highways where memories roam Of greatness and dreams but now I'm going home of a Portland rose But there ain't nothing that compares, you know To the big sky country of Idaho From the red fields of Texas with their oil below To the big sky country of Idaho I travel and dreams but now I'm going home In the heart of Alabama Walter kept his house exactly as it was when his mama was alive and 30,000 miles and 400 something days has left me with an everlasting love for this And there were days when I thought this is it I couldn't go forward yet I couldn't quit I wrote this song with my love behind the wheel But no matter how I sing it It won't tell you how I feel
y'all so much. You guys have been so amazing. Thank you so much. And if you want to support my tour, we have the tip jar, but I also have CDs and vinyl. Yay. And vinyl. And vinyl yeah. and t-shirts. Hey, what do you say? Should we end the evening with an old Swedish folk song? Sure. Just to wrap it up? Yeah. Hey, guys, I know that we don't have a full room here tonight, which is not kind of normal for us. But I want you guys to help me the next time she comes. Will y'all help me get a full room? Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay. And That's what we do when we believe in somebody, and I believe in this lady. Oh. Y'all need that. Yeah. Great. So. Thank you, Randy. Thank you so much. And if you have friends that couldn't make it tonight, I am doing a little show in Dallas tomorrow at the opening Bell Coffee yeah. at oh, 8 p.m. Okay. Yeah. That's opening Bell it's, Coffee. It's down near Lamar. Uh, it's on Lamar. Uh, Southside. Cool. Right now, Southside. All right. So, um, you know, I think um, I have this one old Swedish folk song that I think is like a really special one because uh, it's the song that the Swedes would sing that when they emigrated for America in the late 1800s and the early 1900s. And um, so this is like a, a song that, you know, my fellow countrymen would sing when they came here to find the land of, you know, the free and the gold and the green forests and, and the, 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 yeah. <laughs> the buffaloes. Yeah, and they, they, I think they had this, this big dream of coming here. And, and um, sometimes they, yeah, exactly. <laughs> they came to Greenville. Southern, there's Greenville in every southern state. That's true. That is true. I was, I was actually looking at the GPS today, and I had to scroll down a long way yeah. before I came to Texas. <laughs> every southern state's got a Greenville. So, um, Greenville Street in Dallas, so you might want to stay off of that. Oh, yeah, I should probably <laughs> stay away from all the Greenvilles. <laughs> so, uh, so this song is, is a song uh, sort of about leaving everything that you love and know behind. And I think even though this song is uh, over 100 years old, it's still so accurate today because there are so many people all over the world that have, you know, they have to leave their homes for, for something new that they might not have chosen or uh, they don't know where they're coming. And um, so this song is called The Emigrant Song. And at the end of this song, um, this song is actually, you know, in Swedish because it's an old Swedish folk song. But I did my own little translation into English, so you guys will also understand the words a little bit in the end. And if you like the old Swedish folk songs, I do have a little EP with the old Swedish folk songs, and it's just five bucks. Just saying. Nu står jag på min resa och ska föra Och Gud vet när jag kommer igen Farväl alla gåsar så röra Farväl allra käraste vän Nu kan det vara mycket svårt ändå När du och jag min vän ska skiljas åt Men det är min innerliga önskan Att vi två ska ses igen Nu kan det vara mycket svårt ändå När du och jag, min vän, ska skiljas åt Men det är min innerliga önskan Att vi två ska ses igen I'm packing for my journey, I am leaving And God knows when I will return Farewell all sweet lads, farewell my darling Farewell my most dearest man And it's so hard for us to say goodbye my darling, oh, I feel like I will die. But deep in my heart, I will keep hoping that we two shall meet Thank you all so much.
Thanks for coming out. <laughs>